Hi guys, this is Dr. Prashana. I hope you guys are doing amazing. Like always, it's such an honor to connect with you. Today, I want to talk about how to detach from life and process the chaos around you, the catty behavior around you, just how to go about your day without becoming your surrounding, how to go about your day without becoming your surrounding. So number one, it's very important to realize that life is going to unfold the way it does and it has nothing to do with us. Life is going to unfold the way it does and has nothing to do with us. So you want to have this attitude of it's none of my business. It's none of my business. You detach by saying it's not personal. It's none of my business. You just become the observer. So picture like a television and you're watching life unfold. Right? You're not personally involved in it. It's just life unfolding. So you want to become the guest. You want to become the observer. You're just watching it all happen. right? And you want to have an attitude of, this is amazing. This is beautiful. This is interesting. right? Sometimes hard, challenging things are going to happen in others' lives. And, or some people are going to behave certain ways that are not that, that are negative. But again, you're just like, wow, this is interesting. Again, you're not personalizing. So number one, none of my business. An attitude of none of my business. Number two, just be a guest, an observer, watching it like you're watching a movie on on the big screen. Next, you you want to have this mindset of, I want to have a healthy relationship with life. I want to have a healthy relationship with life. I don't want to fight it. I don't want to argue with it. I don't want to be, I don't want to wake up angry. Right? So again, having that mindset of, hey, I'm, gonna, I, I'm choosing to have a healthy relationship with life. I'm going to keep my heart open no matter what's happening. Because I understand that there's a bigger plan at, you know, that's occurring. There's a grand plan at play. So I'm just going to trust the process. Next, you want to have this attitude of, I'm not participating in the nonsense. I'm not participating in the nonsense. For instance, she needs to do this. He needs to do that. Why didn't he do that? Why did he do that? How could he? Right? So you have to, again, detach by with other, not just life unfoldings, but with other people's actions. Right? They're poor, maybe some of their poor choices. You want to detach and say, absolutely not. I'm not participating in it. I'm not participating in it. It, it's, it has to be a choice, a conscious choice. And this, you, you might be just going about your days. Certain things might happen at work. Colleagues may engage in catty behavior. They, make some, they may engage in the, some particular poor choices. Loved ones may be doing certain things that frustrate you. But if you really think about it, you can detach by noticing that This is something that they've been doing for years, right? These are some of their probable actions, right? Winners know the probable actions of their characters in their lives. So think about everybody in your life, right? And think about what you know about them already. Know their probable actions. If you know their probable actions, it's, they have a lesser, they have a less chance to trigger you, right? Because you're like, oh, this is what she does. This is what he does. They have been doing this for a while. So knowing their probable actions, again, will help you, will help it not trigger anything inside of you as it won't have such an effect on you because you know this already. And then you can consciously choose to decide, hey, I'm not participating in it. Hey, I'm not doing it. Absolutely not. So there's not, there's that, you don't have that need for certain things to be a certain way. Another simple strategy that you can use when it comes to People unfolding the, the way they are, people making choices the, the way they are, is to just say, I'm not, I'm not playing the game. I'm not playing their game. I'm not participating in the nonsense, <laughs> right? And then pull yourself out and move on. Again, you're just the observer observing. You're just the observer observing. That's it. With life unfoldings and people's actions and unfoldings.
All right, guys, I hope this was helpful. Again, just try to keep it simple. Live a simple life. Breathe in, breathe out. Instead of focusing on the bad things that are happening and fo- instead of focusing on who engaged in what catty behavior and what they did and what they didn't do and how they excluded you and they didn't exclude you, uh, just be in awe with life. Go, oh, wow, I'm alive. I'm here. I'm grateful because I have so much abundance in my life. So focus on the abundance. Focus on the story of your future and not the story of your past. And the past means yesterday as well. (laughs) It means two hours ago as well. And just keep it moving. You know, just be there to share the creative juices in your uh, your life, to, to live in greatness, be a winner, do, continue doing the, the beautiful, uh, positive routines that you do engage in. Exercise, read the right books, meditate. I cannot stress the importance of meditation. Meditate regularly. Breathe in and breathe out. Take those breaks. Relax. Be in a relaxed mindset, not rushed mode. Choose to not join societal stress. Life is too precious for any of that. All right, guys. Today, be the observer and try to make this a regular part of your life. Be the observer and let life do its thing. Let people do their thing. It's none of my business. Say that. It's none of my business. Whatever. Right? Take care of yourself.